everyone, uh, Mandi Burmi here. Uh, we are uh, doing this video in uh, Brampton, Ontario. So if you are uh, looking for um, a driving school in uh, Brampton, Ontario, uh, you can uh, give me a call or send me a text message. Or uh, you can also book your uh, driving lessons uh, online uh, through the website. So link is uh, in the description below. You can uh, book your um, driving lessons uh, if you're going for your G1 exit or your G2 exit. Um, and uh, we can definitely uh, you know help you guys out so in this video we're just going to drive around uh, uh, you know Brampton um, um, city and uh, work on uh, you know some of the rules what they are uh, looking for like the ministry is looking for um, in uh, in your driver's test so if you have any questions uh, let me know and uh, please uh, share this video on social media uh, share it on Facebook WhatsApp group uh, share it with uh, with your friends. Um, that's how we got uh, you know uh, more subscribers and um, and then um, I can do more video uh, videos for you guys. All right, so let's uh, get going. Okay, so we're just gonna exit from this parking lot. Um, now in a parking lot, you are required to signal if you're doing any directional changes in a parking lot. You are required to signal and uh, check as well. So we are going left. So left signal checking on both sides looks clear so that means we are good to go and uh, parking lots you want to treat them like a two-way street so keep your car on the right hand side now we are turning right so right signal on and um, checking on both sides from here we're gonna turn left left signal on and uh, now we are uh, slowing down checking traffic on both sides and now we are uh, turning right onto the street so right signal on now before you exit from a parking lot you are required to do a full stop before the sidewalk so complete stop is um, done and now we are good to go so when the road is clear um, that's when you go now usually we don't see a stop sign uh, you know um, when you exit from a parking lot but it's like a imaginary stop sign so you still have to stop uh, before the sidewalk um, if uh, there is no sidewalk, then you stop before the edge of the intersection. Speed limit on this street is uh, 70 kilometers maximum. So we see a speed limit sign on the right hand side, maximum 70. So we can drive between uh, 60 and 70. Further down, we're going to be turning left. So mirror check, signal, shoulder check, change lane to the left. And um, not on this intersection, um, but um, the one after this. So this truck is uh, changing lane, so I'm just slowing down a little bit to maintain my distance from um, this car. Um, so we are uh, turning left at traffic lights. Uh, looks a little bit busy, but you know, that's okay. So left signal on and uh, we just have to wait. Now, if you don't see a sign showing two lanes are turning left, that means there's only one um, lane for the left turns. So a lot of people ask me, uh, can I stay in the second lane? It depends. If you see a sign showing, uh, you know, you have two turning lanes, then yes. But on this intersection, there is no sign. There are no markings on the road indicating the second lane is for, um, you know, left turn. So that means you just have to stay in the first lane because from the second lane, you can only go straight. So you always want to get in the habit of uh, looking at the signs. Uh, you know, read all the signs, uh, scan uh, around and um, look at your speed um, every uh, couple seconds, um, you know, check your mirrors. When you stop on a red light or stop signs, you should definitely look in the rear view mirror as well, uh, just to get an idea of, uh, you know, the traffic behind. Um, and uh, I suggest when you wait, uh, you know, you're uh, waiting for the green light, you're uh, on a red light, keep both hands on the steering wheel. And uh, when you stop behind a car, you should be able to see the back wheels um, on the road. So about, uh, you know, like um, um, eight feet um, distance, uh, like you just want to make sure uh, you have, uh, you know, you have some space. Uh, don't go too close to uh, other, uh, other cars. So again, everyone, uh, if you are in uh, Ontario, uh, you're looking for uh, driving lessons. Uh, give me a call, send me a text message, or you can book your driving lessons online. Now, this video we are doing in uh, Brampton, Ontario, but um, doesn't matter where you are located. 
um, I can help you out. Okay, so this light is taking a little bit long. Okay, now we finally have a green arrow. So now we see a green arrow, but if it stays green for me, I will go. But if it changes, see now it changes. That means I have to go in the intersection. I have to establish. Okay, so establish means you stop in the um, before the middle of the intersection. And uh, then you have to wait for the oncoming traffic. And uh, before we go from here, we have to check um, on the left hand side to make sure there's no pedestrian crossing. Now, sometimes your light will change uh, to yellow. So you're doing three things. You're checking your traffic light, you're ch checking oncoming traffic, and then you're checking on the left hand side to make sure we don't see a uh, pedestrian or cyclist on the sidewalk over there. If you see a big opening between traffic, that time you can go. For some reason, this white car is going very slow. Maybe he's uh, using his cell phone or doing something, not sure, but anyways. Um, so you want to go in your first lane first and then uh, you change lane uh, to the right because the left lane is um, only, um, it's a passing lane. So, you know, the only time you go in the left lane is if you have to do a left turn or uh, if you want to pass another, uh, another vehicle. Okay, so checking on both sides. Now, they're not going to fail you if you keep driving straight in the left lane, okay, but you just have to... Uh, you just have to make sure you're not driving too slow because if you're driving too slow and you're in the left lane then people are gonna start passing you from the right hand side um, that's something um, you shouldn't be doing okay so even if you read um, the handbook uh, Ontario handbook it says uh, you know um, stay slower traffic stays in the right lane okay um, so when you are a new driver, a lot of time new drivers, um, they are driving, you know, a little bit slow. Um, so, yeah. So you just want to be careful. So I suggest after lane, uh, you know, after your turns, um, then change lane to the right hand side. Green light, uh, checking on both sides to make sure uh, cross traffic has stopped. Because sometimes people go through red lights. Um, so you want to make sure, you know, um, there is no one running red lights. Now further down, uh, we will be turning left, but um, I will change lane um, after this intersection. <coughs> so this intersection, um, we have a green light. There is a walking man sign. So that means the light is going to stay green for us. And now we can change lane to the left. So uh, left mirror check, signal, shoulder check. And we can come into this lane and uh, we can actually do uh, one more lane change. So um, let's do a mirror check, signal, shoulder check. Now, this is a good example. So here you can clearly see on the road, we have two lanes uh, turning left. And uh, you can also see the overhead signs, uh, you know, two lanes are for left turns. Now, if you are in a outer turning lane, when you turn, you wanna make sure you stay in the outer turning lane. So a lot of time I notice uh, new drivers uh, when they're turning, they, you know, sometimes they stay in this lane, right? So they will start the turn from the outer lane, but then in the middle of the turn, they slowly start to drift into the uh, inside lane, like the inner uh, turning lane. So it's a very common mistake with the new drivers. Um, so yeah, make sure you're not doing that. Or the other option is you you can just go in the inner lane so it's always um, easier to turn from the inside lane all right um, so we are just waiting for the light to turn green now I know one of the camera doesn't have a too much battery so the video can stop anytime so I uh, just wanted to uh, give you some heads up just in case if the all of a sudden the video stops um, so that's what happened okay um, yeah, so after this left turn, we will just stop somewhere and um, and then I will, uh, you know, change the camera, so. All right, so, um, yeah, just waiting for the green light. So, again, if you are in, uh, you know, Brampton, Ontario, looking for uh, G license, uh, G lessons, or uh, G2 lessons, uh, give me a call, send me a text message, or uh, book your lessons online through the website. Link is in the description below. If you are um, in other part of the, if you are in uh, other part of the, you know, province, uh, I can still help you.
Okay, so uh, we're just gonna go in this uh, parking lot here, and uh, we will park um, on the right hand side. So, right, let's park on this side here. And we park on the right hand side. All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, camera was actually making some noise, but right now um, the light is still on, so I think it's still recording. Uh, but yeah, not sure because first after the turn, first I was planning to go straight, and then the camera started beeping, so I actually came into. Um, the you know into this parking lot <laughs> because i thought the battery is already done uh well anyways uh, i think it's uh, still recording so um thank you very much for this video and uh, you know i will um see you guys again um so yeah just uh, share this video uh, on your facebook page whatsapp share it with your friends family members and um and i will do more video for you guys thank you and see you guys again